as you know, it's frigid out there this morning. It felt pretty decent. We had a light wind and temperatures in the 20s, but Arctic air changed all of that and we started to get and see the sun dog. This is a look at the sunset in Minot. This is a time lapse of our Skywatch camera from this afternoon and boy, it was cold, but this is a beautiful sight and actually a sign of things to come or that are already happening. Yes, we're at three above, but this is mild compared to what's to come um, tomorrow and thereafter. The wind still gusting up to 39 miles per hour. That is reducing visibility in some places. It's mainly open areas reduce visibility for the most part, but at Lake Metagoshi, light snow coming down with the wind uh, still gusting over 20 miles per hour. Temperatures for now aren't terrible, but this is a sign of that Arctic air coming in. And before you know it, we will be sub zero. The wind will remain a bit blustery even overnight, uh, sustained around 20 miles per hour with those even stronger gusts. But you will notice that that cold front, the Arctic front at that, has pushed east of the Magic City and that colder air continues to plunge in, which means it's going to get even colder over the coming days. And we do have to mention snow, um, not necessarily for uh, Thursday, but by Friday, um, especially the second half of Friday into early Saturday morning, there's the potential for another couple of inches of snow across north central North Dakota with an approaching disturbance. Nothing excessive as far as snow accumulation, but that on top of the cold temperatures lets you know that things are going to remain this way for the time being. So let's take a look at the forecast for the next 24 hours. Turtle Mountain still chance for that snow that we were um, talking about from yesterday and that low visibility. But for tomorrow morning, uh, likely uh, single digits and teen sub zero to start out the day. What about the noon hour? Well, many of us are still below zero, right around three below at the lunchtime hour. Now, as we get into the mid to late afternoon, if we're lucky, we may reach zero degrees, but it's going to be temporary as the sun sets and we just rinse and repeat that frigid Arctic weather pattern for the time being. Also, I want to let you know about your MLK weekend. That's where we're going to be feeling the coldest temperatures with morning lows in the teens and 20s below zero for Saturday and sub zero highs. Stanley uh, possibly may not get above 10 below zero. Might not likely eight below zero for our high, not just for Saturday, but Sunday as well. But notice better chance of 20 below zero went on um, temperatures for your Sunday morning and similar conditions could be felt on Monday as well. So just be prepared for that. We're letting you know ahead of time that it's not going to be getting any better. And as far as the wind chill forecast, you know the wind chills are going to be much worse. Friday morning near 30 below, Saturday morning 30 to 45 below wind chills, and then 45 to maybe 50 below wind chills for Sunday morning. So that's going to be definitely enough to meet wind chill warning criteria across north central North Dakota. Here's your seven day forecast. Best chance of snow is mentioned on Friday, but the Arctic air slowly retreats Joe by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, so at least we'll be above zero by then, but it's still only single digits. I think if I can make it through this weekend, I'll be in good form. Thank you so much, Henry.